my hat straight. We've got this principle or philosophy I, or saying with deep rooted meanings. We didn't create it. We kind of uh, borrowed part of it and adapted it. It's called uh, get mo and go. Spell it here, G-E-T-M-O ampersand. I always include the ampersand because, you know, it's stylish. And go, Geo. I'm going to let past Jamie and Patrick explain it to you right here. <laughs> we have what we call um, a get mo and go. What does that mean? Oh yeah, get mo and go. Oh God, <laughs> I <laughs> forgot what does it mean. <laughs> Uh, we practiced this on the way here this morning. Get enough together to move in and go. It's not, that's not right. I forget. What is it? Tell me. Just tell me. Don't torture me. Get enough together. Get? Get, get enough. I don't know. Go. Good oh, enough. good enough. Good enough. Good enough to move on and go. go. Give me a kiss. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> get mo and go. You'll see it right here. Good enough to move on and go. Move on board it sounds a little bit better because move on sounds like we're going already. But I'm going to be working on taking out some of these floors. Jamie did quite a bit of work uh, in the last couple of weeks, cleaning things out, getting things organized, and ripping out a bunch of it herself. And we're going to show you that. First, I want to show you a couple of the uh, the projects that we were working on uh, as part of the get mo and go philosophy. Would that be Kantian or, I don't know, Platonic? Hmm, Socratic? Let's take a look at the spare tire storage bay and its door. Here's that. I paint the bus. I took the front bumper off in order to make it a little bit easier to do that. My plan had been to uh, tidy them up, maybe give them a paint job. Repainting that bumper is not part of that get, mow, and go project. This is going to be a later on project. So I'm putting it on now and I'm going to figure out a way to put the spare tire compartment door back on so we can more easily pull it off and I'll explain that a little bit later. This is going to be fun. Hey guys, Future Patrick here. I was just editing this video and I realized that I don't have the footage where I explain it later. So I'm gonna tell you real quick right now why it is that we couldn't use the spare tire in the spare tire compartment when we had that blowout on the way from Oregon. It's a very simple mechanism. It's a wire rope or a cable, wire cable, that runs from a knob just under the dashboard in the driver's compartment. You pull the knob, the cable is attached to the rod that you'll see in a second, pulls and opens the lock. Well, like a lot of things on this bus, everything was completely seized solid. I yanked on that thing. I'm surprised the knob didn't come out of the dashboard. That's why we couldn't use it back to past Patrick and uh, the rest of the video. You might be wondering, how did we open it in the first place? Well, I tell you, once we got here, I got down on the ground with a screwdriver and I simply disconnected the hinges from the bottom of the door and it fell right away. That's that's how we got it undone and discovered we actually had a spare tire. There's a spare tire. It's never been on the road. It is an older tire. And this is the actual compartment door that I'm going to be trying to put on again today. So how are we doing? I took a little uh, rod off of a power door lock, attaches to the rod here that actually opens and closes the locks, put it over here, and I zip tied a little, this, this, is, just, this, is, this is just proof of concept right now. This is, it's gonna be prettier later, I promise. This is an actual air tube from the bays. Uh, the bay doors, we don't use that anymore. I just cut it off and I'm going to string it through here. Now, and I, my, my, my thought is it's just gonna string out and hang out here and I'll figure out something else with it later. Later. Like I'll maybe put a proper cable down here with a little ring on it. But right now, there is it. There it is. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna pull it out from here and see if it unlocks. Beauty. Proof of concept. So next step is to put the door back on and try it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have these hand tight. Good. Yeah, let's just get them started. We'll worry about that later. I want to get these ones in. Do you want me to go around and do the other one before we tighten? Let me see if I can do that. You able to get it in? Yep. All right, let's try something here. Ah, uh, I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> cool. Look at that. Hey, perfect. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Did it work? It worked. Ah! Ready? Yep. Oh my God, that's amazing. Perfect. Ah! One more time. All right. <laughs> What do you think? I'm excited. We got to put the spare tire back in there, but uh, mm -hmm. at least we know that if we have a problem on the way to Colorado, we don't have a spare tire. This is a mess though, look at this. I really got it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got some, some bruises. It's old, but this is not a, a get mo. This is good enough to move on. This, this, is, this, yeah. is, this is get mo. That's right, this it's is done. get mo, but we don't need to like repaint it or make it beautiful yeah. right this minute. That might be something we'll do. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll take care of some of these other projects when we get to, uh, I don't know, Colorado or? Yeah, 
and you know, if y'all are new, we've been working on this bus for three years and a couple months now. So we're feeling real ready to be done. Yeah, and <laughs> we're putting up with a lot of stuff, chip paint on the bumper, but this is all cosmetic. We want to be able to move aboard, so our priority is going to be the inside. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Let's get to this now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. And then there was the running lights. Let me let me show you a couple of the choice clips of uh, doing those. Actually, it wasn't that hard. Finishing up the wiring for the clearance lights up there in order to get them finished so we can uh, put in the walls and the insulation and not have to worry about getting to these later. So part of that is installing these lights here. Now I gotta tell you a little secret. These compartment doors, I don't know if you can see this, there were holes in here. So I've had to fill this up with some Bondo putty and I did a little touch up and paint, which I think I'm gonna do again. Here's that secret. This door you see has a big hole here and a bunch of little ones here. This door didn't have any holes in it at all. I had to drill one just to be able to put through uh, the wiring for this. Now let me show you the other side. These are on the driver's side. This door had a hole in it for a light, so did this one. Uh, the ones on the other side, as you saw, there was a hole in this door, but not in this one. So I tend to think these doors were not originally from this bus. So anyway, I decided rather than trying to patch up this big round hole here, I'll just put lights in both of them. And I will figure out something to do with the light that I'm putting for the door here. I am gonna put a door here. It's gonna be a fancy door. It's not even gonna be one of those. Oh, well, you'll just have to wait and see because it's gonna be nice. Right now I've got to uh, try and touch up this paint job a little bit for my wife's season. Where is my butyl tape? When I did those other clearance lights, I didn't use butyl tape. I don't even think I had any at the time. So we're gonna put this on here now. Now, this one broke because I left the ladder up one day. So it was over here, propped against the bus. The storm came along and uh, knocked it down. Kind of like that. Well, I can't really put these ones on yet because uh, that little extra paint I put on there is still drying. I don't want to muck it up. And besides, I only have one more light left. I've got more coming, but uh, I've only got one here now. So I as well do it all at once. So if you've gotten anything out of this or any other video of ours that you've seen, hit that like and subscribe button down below. It, it really helps us a lot. And we could use your company. So stick around a little bit. Time to go. This is one of the clearance lights. They have not been wired up yet. So that's got to be done before the walls. And before we do the walls, we have to do the insulation of the walls. Before we do the insulation of the walls, we've got to do the furring strips. Before we do the furring strips, we've got to do the wiring. All of the wiring, most of the wiring, the conduits are going to come down this aisle. This aisle is going to be under the floor. However, we're, we're planning on having some light fixtures on the walls, some uh, LED strips along the corners. We've got to do that before we do the insulation. That's what I mean when we say we've got to do some, some thinking. So how about a little bit of demolition, which is always satisfying. Let me pass it off to Jamie and let uh, let her show you what I'm talking about. So this is the first day in a long time that most of the day I'm going to be working inside the bus, which is very exciting. So I just want to show you what a ridiculous mess this uh, interior is. So yeah, we got stuff everywhere. And today my goal is to get, hi Danny. Hi. No, to get as much of this organized as possible. That's exciting, huh? It's very exciting. All right, here we go. I'm working in the bus today. Just want to show you really quick where the floors are at. Passenger side, all the floors are out. We're keeping the floors in the aisle. We're going to level them out so the floor doesn't have that drop down in the aisle. And today I'm working on tearing out all these floors and then up there, got to get all those out. That is the goal for the weekend.
I learned how to do this walking technique with the crowbars when I was taking out the um, ductwork that was along here and also up top. Uh, this plywood is not the greatest in the world. Of course, we're going to be putting down some OSB, but it's still going to be brand new and not 24 years old and full of rotten dirt and grime. Okay. Oh, coffee break. This is why we wear safety glasses. <sighs> so I've got one more panel to lift up and that's it for the subfloor. Well, not the subfloor, the floor of the bus. Pardon my, pardon my dirt. I've still got some cleanup to do. I've got to rip off some nails, pick up some of that old, uh, some of the wood that's splintered off, clean up the frame. One more panel and then we move on to that and finish that. And I actually think we could probably get started on the floor or the subfloor. No, the sub subfloor. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna explain that in the next video when we start doing that and I'm gonna tell you what I mean by sub-subfloor, but not right now, not today. Back to work.